I am Erica Ann and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to share some tips for those incoming senior high school students. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is to share to you a short background of the K-12 program specifically the two years extension which is the senior high school. The senior K-12 program was passed, if I'm not mistaken, in the year 2012 and then it has a two years extension so this grade 11 and 12 are called the senior high school. So for the senior high school we have four tracks, I mean students have to choose between these four tracks. So we have the academic track, the technical vocational livelihood track, we have the arts and science track and we have the sports track. So I am currently taking the track with this, which is the science, technology, engineering, mathematics strand. But under academic track, there are still um, three other strands aside from STEM. So we have the humanities and social science strand or the HUMES or HUMS. We have the GAS, the general academic strand. And we have the um, ABM or the Accountancy, Business, and Management strand. Okay, I'll start with my tips. So tip number one is to know the track that you will be taking. You need to know your skills, you need to know your interests, and you need to know what you want to take in the college life. Because this will be the basis of the track that you will be taking. It's difficult to take the strand and then the subjects under it if you are not interested. If you are having a hard time with it. Because I know how it feels to take the track that I am not good at. If you're still undecided of what you're going to take in college, then this um, program will at, at some point help you to decide. Next tip is to ask help from senior high school students, especially the grade 12. So I am currently a grade 12 student and currently taking the STEM track as what I told you a while ago. And we already have experience one year and almost a half of this program. So, mas madami na kami ng pagdaanan. Hirap? 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 You can ask help from us. Of course, we are willing to help you guys. Kasi during our time, wala kaming matanungan. Kasi we were the pioneering students of this program. If you have questions about this track, then I will leave my... Um, social media accounts below or here I will place it here on the screen um, and I am willing to help you guys and the third tip is to know your school um, there are also things to consider when you choose your school um, first is your the money the budget and the location of the school so location and school at some point it might affect your grades because some schools are very 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 strict na pag madami ka ng late or number of absences na most probably it can affect your grades talaga kasi yung iwan ang minus ganyan something I'm not sure and then no, the first thing that you need to consider is the money involved kasi like for example alam niyo na private schools kailangan na ganito so you need to earn a lot and one thing that comes in my mind during that time is that I don't want to enter a private school Kasi, this additional two years of studies, uh, parang ang dami niyang gagastasin. And I want to save, I want to help my parents to save money for my college career. The DepEd offers a voucher program naman wherein merong specific amount of money ang ibabawa sa tuition mo a year. Next. Then, na pag isipan nila na ayam nila or hindi nila kaya, so they decided to switch another track or strand. So, yung first sem mo, six months yun, and nasaya mo siya. It's very hard to undergo bridging. Iba iba kasi yung pagtuturo eh. Example, sa dalawang school na to, pareho silang STEM. But in this school, most probably advanced sila sa isang subject, 
or most probably nalalate sila kasi sa next year pa nila itatake yung subject na yun. Same as the school. Hindi lahat ng schools pareho ang tinitake sa isang year kahit pareho pa kayong STEM. So, you need to take note of that kasi paglilipat ka sa other school, itatake mo pa rin yung course na na mismo sa first SEM. So, woo! It's a waste of time. So, that's all that I can share to you guys. As I hope this yes! video helped you. Um, kahit sa konting paraan ng pagdatok na to. Always remember that in this video, there is no space for goodbye. Only see you next time. I am Erika Ann and have a good day everyone!